Hi guys. That is it. C'est gentil. Um, right, so, um, I've just seen my friend Vero at the coffee. Alors, je viens de voir mon ami Vero pour un café. Je viens de voir mon ami Vero pour un café. So, I thought I would walk. I'm now going to meet her son and my little friend Tom. Je vais aller retrouver son fils et mon petit ami. Not my petit ami, not my boyfriend Tom. So I thought I would show you a little bit more of the city. Alors je pensais vous montrer un tout petit peu plus de la ville. Um, uh, yeah, which is um, which is um, uh, effectively, if you did one of the language trips with me, you would. This is where we would be. Donc si vous saviez faire un des séjours linguistiques avec moi où vous verriez cette ville you would see the city for those of you who are starting um, the classes this well today alors pour ceux qui commencent les cours aujourd'hui we've just used the imperfect and the conditional on vient d'utiliser l'imparfait et le conditionnel so I'm going this way mainly to show you the citadel although I'm not going to be it's not the best place Let's just show you their lovely citadel. C'était pour vous montrer leur citadelle. But as you know, cameras have a habit of shrinking things. I just love all these little sneaky courtyards. If I'm not mistaken, there's something in the middle of this one. Si je me trompe pas, il y a quelque chose tout au milieu. No, that's the next one. Um, so I'm just going to turn the camera a moment. Alors je vais juste tourner l'appareil photo. Um, it's the most unbelievably beautiful winter sky. C'est un ciel d'hiver magnifique. Uh, I've already done the other side of the city. Alors j'ai déjà fait l'autre côté de la ville. J'ai déjà fait l'autre côté de la ville. I'm just going to get this in for my Brenda. Alors ça, je vais faire pour Brenda because she likes fabrics parce qu'elle adore les tissus. Damn, this is her spot. There's a black hair shop opposite. She could teach them a thing or two in both shops. That is beautiful. Uh, I really want to get the. I might do the citadel tomorrow if it's a nice. Je vais peut-être faire le citadel demain. So wherever you are in Besançon, there's always hills around. Um, peu importe la direction, il y a toujours des collines. It's not really the best view of it from there. Uh, let's go. Right, if I go this way. We're going by the Roman ruins. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> so, Vero and John Louis aren't from this city. They're actually from um, somewhere more towards Switzerland. Alors, ils viennent pas de cette ville. Ils viennent d'une ville qui est près de la Suisse. But their son was sick and they needed to come to this town for the hospital. Mais leur fils était malade et ils ont dû venir à Besançon pour l'hôpital. Unfortunately, the hospital couldn't cure him, but it just gave him sort of palliative sort of care. Malheureusement, l'hôpital n'a pas pu le guérir. Ils lui ont offert de la... Oh no, that's the one I'm thinking of. Do they do palliative? Uh, do soin? There's the citadel up there. Right. So, I really need to drink less coffee. Moi, je dois vraiment boire moins de café. Because in winter, I don't know why, parce qu'en hiver, je sais pas pourquoi. Because I do the following things. Parce que moi, je fais les choses suivantes. I swim. Je nage. J'adore la natation. I walk around a lot outside. Moi, je me promène dehors. <laughs> uh, 
I drink a lot of coffee, je bois beaucoup de café, and uh, yeah, and the combination of things, look at that pharmacy cross, that's fucking amazing. Regarde moi la croix. We're getting to the old streets now. It's so cute. <laughs> Am I going to have time to get to Tom's school? Est-ce que j'aurai le temps d'arriver à l'école de Tom? I just want to show you some of this old stuff. Je veux vous montrer la partie ancienne de la ville. Uh, little old street. I mean, all of this I've done two years ago. Alors ça, j'ai fait tout ça il y a deux ans. It's just to do something a bit different. C'était juste pour faire quelque chose de différent. Right, I'm going to have to go this way now. Um, yeah. Um, bonjour. I don't think he was quite well. <laughs> Je pense pas que ce soit un mec normal. Oh, ça monte. It's going up. So, um, yes, so originally what happened was they said come and visit us in France. Alors, originalement, ils m'ont dit de venir leur rendre visite en France. And um, I took the airplane. Alors, j'ai pris l'avion. I went to um, an airport which is called Bal, Basel in English. Alors, je suis allé à un aéroport qui s'appelle Bâle, Basel en anglais, in Switzerland. And then, it was just a lot of um, travel. Il y avait beaucoup de voyages. But, um, um, then, we realized Um, I'm going to go back down by there. We realized that you could actually get the Eurostar and then the TGV. On s'est rendu compte qu'on prend, on pouvait prendre le Eurostar et ensuite le TGV. Um, and I liked this option because it always gave me an hour in Paris. Alors moi, j'ai beaucoup aimé cette option parce que ça m'a donné une heure à Paris. Um, and I know Paris really well. Paris, je connais bien comme ville. Um, and it's a little bit of nostalgia because I went to school there. Alors c'était un tout petit peu de nostalgie parce que voilà, c'est là que j'ai fait mon école. I mean, if you were American from quite a new town, city, this would seem like a, like a film set, wouldn't it? Alors, si vous étiez américain d'une nouvelle ville, on dirait fin tournage d'un film. I'm not taking the main streets, alors je prends pas les rues principales. I just wanted to show you some of the smaller streets. Je voulais, montre, je voulais vous montrer les petites ruelles. I hope I haven't lost my bearings. Je pense pas que j'ai perdu euh, mes points de repère. I should be by the Roman ruins, by Victor Hugo's house where he was born. Alors, si je me trompe pas, je suis près des vestiges romains. Romain. Yep. Look at that. Victor Hugo's house. Do I know the city or do I know the city? Qu'est-ce que je connais cette ville? 
There's the entrance to the citadel. It goes really high. Saint Mont. Here are the Roman ruins. Last time I was here, I was with my lovely Lizzie, my lovely John and Susan, Claire, Carol, Nick, nice people. Alors, la dernière fois que j'étais là, j'étais avec tous ces gens-là. Now we're going to come out by where I always hire. A flat. Alors maintenant, on va sortir près d'où je, je prends toujours un appartement. Just love these courtyards. I just love these little courtyards. I would love to explore this city <sighs> with Mr. P, who likes walking. J'aimerais bien visiter cette ville avec Monsieur P, qui aime bien se promener. So now we have to cross. So if you end up looking at this on a map, si vous finissez par regarder le plan, so this is where this is where we uh, we hired the apartment before. C'est là où on a pris l'appartement avant. And if I'm right, we should come out by the river. In about two minutes, and if I have reason, we will be out of the river in two minutes. And I will be opposite the media centre. Look how it's cold and frozen. God, I love ASICs. What do I love about ASICs? I think I might be one across. Yeah, I need to be over there. Damn, I need to, I need to be in that little courtyard. I'm one too far across. That's the block of flats over there. Ça, c'est l'appartement. Come on, Lukey, you can do it. Dépêche-toi, Luke, tu peux le faire. In fact, there's a little problem because I need to speak to the owner of the two flats. En fait, il y a un petit problème. Je dois parler avec le propriétaire des deux appartements. For the simple reason, tout simplement, because uh, I didn't take, I didn't um, hire them last year. Alors, je les ai pas pris l'année dernière because there were three dates. Il y avait trois dates, and my students couldn't decide. Mes étudiants ne pouvaient pas décider entre les trois dates. Lovely little cake shop. Rue de la Reille, this is it, I was one alley across. There's a lovely way that way, but we're going to go by the river. Alors ça c'est joli, mais on va passer par la rivière. Bonjour. Random crochet. <laughs> Random acts of crochet kindness. That's the group in London. They just knit stuff and just leave it on lampposts. Alors ils adorent tricoter, ils laissent ça sur des réverbères. Bonjour. There's an apartment from last time. Alors voici notre appartement de la dernière fois. This big thing on the left. If you speak in English in Paris, nobody would give a fuck. Alors si vous parlez en anglais, à Paris, mais ils s'en sont, sont foutraient cruellement. If you speak in English, in Besançon, it's like what? Alors, si on parle en anglais à Besançon, ils sont un peu choqués. So this is Cité des Arts. This is the arts complex where my friend Mimi works. There, can you see, it, I know that the camera's going to shrink it, but can you see the citadel high on the, high on the hill? Vous voyez la citadelle perchée, perched, perchée sur la colline. So, 
We're going to cross the river. On va traverser. Alors il y a la rivière. So it's a bit modern, but this building is supposed to imitate the old architecture of the region. Alors c'est un peu moderne, mais ce bâtiment est censé imiter euh, l'architecture, le vieil architecture de la région. Luke, essaye de ne pas glisser. And what's fabulous about Besançon, ce qui est fabuleux, is that all around Besançon, as well as the central citadel, there are like seven hills. C'est qu'autour de Besançon, à peu près comme. Yeah, à part la citadel centrale, there's like seven hills, I think it is. Il y a cette colline, is it seven or five? I'm being stupid. Est-ce que je me trompe? And um, yeah, and on each of those is like a fort from the same period. Et sur chaque uh, uh, colline, il y a un fort qui date de, de la même période. Now I need to keep going. I need to go past the barrage. Alors je dois continuer. Je dois passer le barrage, so the water suddenly changes texture, c'est là où l'eau change de texture, that, if I'm not mistaken, is Fort Beauregard, si je me trompe pas, c'est le Fort Beauregard, and Jean-Louis, my friend, Jean-Louis, mon ami, because he's an electrician, parce qu'il est électricien de la ville, he's got a key, he has access, um, uh, uh, to all of these, um, to all of these buildings. Il a accès à tous ces bâtiments. This is the St. Paul car park, if I'm not mistaken. Next to Parc Mico, which is just there. Second. Luke, you're crossing the car park. That's not exactly the most beautiful thing to see. Ce n'est pas ce qu'il y a de plus joli à Besançon. Right, so. You might as well look at something even less beautiful, which is my face. Um, so, yeah, the city is in a buckle, yeah, kind of thing in a loop. Uh, so the river goes like that, super tight round, and then back out. Alors la ville se trouve dans une boucle. So you're pretty much surrounded by river. Um, My right hip is giving me a bit of grief. Alors la hanche droite, ça fait mal. I went swimming. Alors je suis allé nager. If you're not familiar with French cultural standards when it comes to swimming, let me introduce you. Alors si vous n'êtes pas familier avec des normes, des coutumes, des cult enfin, la culture standard euh, française, you need to wear speedos when you go to French Paul, if you porte a maillot, even all the older guys. And if it's a municipal pool, you need to wear a swim cap. Et si c'est une piscine municipale, il faut porter un bonnet de bain, a bathing bonnet. Um, and if you don't do this, et si vous ne le faites pas, they have the right to refuse you. Ils ont le droit de vous refuser l'entrée. And um, when I told all my students this, Quand je l'ai dit à mes étudiants, they were like, Luke, you just want to see us in our, in our, in our trunks. Luke, tu le dis juste pour nous voir euh, en maillot. And I was like, trust me, 
that is not the case. Fais-moi confiance, ce n'est pas le cas. Faites-moi confiance, I'm speaking to more than one of them. <laughs> so I've noticed that we've all started to wear this, um, this sort of nylon-y, like, plasticky kind of fabric, but that sweats, but you can sweat in it. Alors, on a tous commencé à porter, enfin, ces tissus, enfin, un peu nylon, on peut, enfin, là, on peut transpirer. Um, but um, the, the transpiration, uh, fin, se répand, like the, it's called wicking in English. But um, and I wear it for dance. Alors moi je le porte fin, pour faire de la danse. But I've also noticed, mais j'ai aussi remarqué um, that uh, yeah. No, what was I going to say? It, I, I, but you have to be really careful. Alors il faut faire attention when you wash it, when you dry it. And unfortunately, et malheureusement, um, uh, shit, I need to get out there. Uh, um, unfortunately, alors malheureusement, you can't. So you have to be really careful with the dryer. Il faut faire attention avec le sèche linge. And Tom was standing like near the flames uh, of their sort of, they've got like a chimney. Alors Tom, il était près des flammes, ils ont une espèce de cheminée, and it literally melted onto his arm. <laughs> Alors c'était fondu sur son avant-bras, and it reminded me of when I was five and my brother Joe did the same thing. Et ça m'a fait penser à quand j'avais cinq ans et mon frère Joseph, il a fait la même chose. Um, talking of Joseph, that's the college that we're walking to. En parlant de Joseph, c'est le collège là où on va. Although, strictly speaking, it's not the college, because he's now preparing his back. Ah, strictement, c'est plus le collège parce qu'il prépare son back. Preparing his back, Luke, that's terrible for anglais. Okay, Luke, you're going to cross here. Okay, Luke, tu vas traverser ici. Look how high the water was in 1896. Regarde le niveau en 1896. Some people near here say non non, because it's kind of near Switzerland. Oh, please be open. Oh, don't take the piss. Oh, Christ Almighty. Oh. I could have jumped on that. taking me to where I needed to go. I just crossed the river. Now, these bastards, and I really do use the word on purpose, ces salauds, et j'utilise le mot exprès. So the guy who's the manager, the mec qui est gérant, so I have an absolutely adorable friend. Alors moi j'ai un ami adorable. He's American. C'est un Américain. He's not an Asian American or a Chinese American. He's American. He just happens to have Chinese heritage. The same way some Americans have what we would refer to as Afro-Caribbean heritage. Or some Americans have European heritage. But he's not an Asian American. He's an American. And uh, you don't say white Americans rather than <laughs> Afro-American. So anyway, we'd done a tour of the city. On avait fait un tour de la ville. And there wasn't a lot left historically. Côté historique, il ne reste, restait pas grand chose. So this son of a bitch said, oh, there's a really good Chinese restaurant over there. Il y a un bon resto chinois là-bas. And then went on, and I'm not even going to do it, et je vais pas le faire to imitate in the most unbelievably pathetically cliched way ever a Chinese voice but with all the cultural facial tics and everything that you could possibly, ma possibly imagine with all the tics enfin pas sûr qu'on pourrait quand même bien imaginer c'était oh c'était it was just so fucking racist and Jason 
went up to him. Jason said that proche de lui. And he was like, I really don't appreciate that. Alors ça, je l'apprécie pas. Also, not being funny, but this guy was Arabic. Alors ce mec, il était d'origine arabe. So, you know, he presumably wouldn't have liked the same thing. And then, ooh, what a beautiful dog. What two beautiful dogs. Il n'est pas de signé, de signé de... Oh non, non, c'est parce que je filme pour ma fille parce qu'elle adore les chats, mais des fois, ils sont un peu timides, c'est en sort, hein. c'est important. Oh. oh, baby. Uh. French people love talking about their dogs. Les Français, ils adorent parler de leurs chiens. Um. Um. Not her, by <laughs> um, Good. Yeah, and so anyway, the following year, l'année suivante, we came back with uh, Lizzie. Alors on est revenu avec Lizzie. And there were some girls that were sunbathing, nay, topless, by the side of the river, which is completely normal for France. Donc il y avait des filles qui se bronzaient, uh, seins nus, torse nus, uh, près de la rivière, au bord de la rivière. And this guy with the boat honked the horn. He was like, oh, oh and waved and when I got off I went dude that wasn't kind of cool c'était pas bien ça and he went they love it il adore and I thought okay yeah great <laughs> and then guess what he did exactly the same thing il a fait exactement la même chose so the problem is it's such a good route c'est une bonne route but sometimes you have to stand up for what you believe des fois il faut protéger des choses qui sont importantes So next year, when we come, we're going to use the, the, another company. Donc la prochaine an, ben, l'année prochaine, on va pas utiliser ces gens-là. Right. That's where Tom used to get his hair cut. C'est là où Tom se faisait couper les cheveux. I'm going to go. I shall leave you at the church. Alors je vais vous laisser avec l'église. And you're going to pray that I make it on time. I do love stone and rock together, uh, um, tree and stone together.